In 8.2a, we discovered that the slope-intercept equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. In this video, we will learn how to use that to find the y-intercept and solve for b. To find the y-intercept, we use y equals mx plus b which is what we used last video for finding an equation of a line, and we solve for b. Remember that b represents the point at which your line crosses the y-axis. Let's go ahead and use this equation in two examples. In example one, we're asked to give the equation of the line that passes through the point 6, negative 2 and has a slope of 4. We're going to use the equation y equals mx plus b and we're going to plug in 4 for the slope because remember slope is m. Now that we've substituted 4 in for m, or our slope, we still need to solve for b, or the y-intercept. To do this, we use the values for x and y at a specific point on the line that we're trying to find the equation for. We know that y is negative 2, given our coordinate point, and we also know that x is 6. The only variable that's left now is b, and we can now isolate b by doing simple algebra. We just found where the line crosses the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis at negative 26 in the y-direction and 0 in the x-direction. Now that we've found our slope, which was actually given to us, and we found our y-intercept, we can now rewrite the slope-intercept equation for this specific line. We know our slope is 4, and we know our y-intercept is negative 26. So now we have a slope, we have a y-intercept, and it's in the form y equals mx plus b, so we now have the equation of the line. In example 2, we're asked to give the equation of the line that passes through negative 3, 5 and has a slope of negative 2 thirds. Once again, we know that negative 2 thirds represents m in the, in the equation y equals mx plus b. And so we can substitute that in. y equals negative two-thirds x plus b. Notice that the only thing I've done to change my slope-intercept equation is substitute in the slope. Now I can take the values for the coordinate point negative 3, 5 and substitute negative 3 in for x and 5 in for y because this point falls on the line. Substituting that in, I get 5 equals negative 2 thirds times 
negative 3 plus b. Notice that the only thing I have left to solve for is b. I have my slope, now I'm going to solve for my y-intercept, and I'll get 5 equals, multiplying this, and this is technically over 1, my negative 3's divide out, and I'm left with 2 over 1, or just 2, plus b. Subtract 2 from both sides, and I get b is equal to 3. Now I've found my y-intercept. I can now rewrite the equation of the line I've been looking for in slope-intercept form, and I get y equals negative two-thirds x plus three. And that's the equation of the line that we were asked for.